It's sad that people get unhappy with Bungie just because we're large and successful. The Halo has been very successful mainly because we have given the customer something uh, that they've been, uh, you know, they've been just dying to get their hands on. It's like the most anticipated game ever. Halo 2, in most cases, is a plague. They appeal to the lowest common denominator of society to make a quick buck. She's developed great skills of, of melee combat and, and grenade throwing, but she, at the sticks, baby, the sticks. Use the analog sticks. Just forget it. She'll never get it. I went ahead and I system linked my entire house with internet cables. System linked it, uh, gave it internet access. Got a monitor in here. Just playing right now for a sec. Ah, I'm able to play with anyone online anytime. What's the oddest place I've, I've got Xboxes? I don't think any of them are, are odd places to have an Xbox, really. No, I don't know right now. I'm upstairs, in the, I'm in the bathroom. No, I'm already done, but yeah. I was, I'm still in the bathroom. I'll be back downstairs in a second, don't worry. And I've got one in the closet. I've got two in the kitchen. I've got one in the bathroom, one in the guest room, office. Uh, and then as soon as I finish my basement, they'll be everywhere in the basement. I've got an Xbox in the garage. I was working in the garage the other day and it was nice to have the Xbox there while I was underneath because I, my friends were on and I didn't want to miss them. But then I actually realized when I, had, when I left to go to work, I had to be able to play Xbox while I was on my way to work. So I, I went and paid a couple thousand dollars and had LCD screens in, put in the dashboard by the front of the whole car. Get back here, hurry, he's coming. Hurry. Ah! Gosh, you got me. Why weren't you at the gate? It's nice. Because uh, I never want to miss a moment when I'm playing Halo. Basically, Halo 2 is too much like a computer game in my opinion. It's too fast, too much, I don't know, I just don't like it as much. I played a little Atari and, uh, and uh, Pong back in the day, but not a big Nintendo guy. I wasn't a big Nintendo guy, but um, pretty much got into it, um, back into it with Halo. And, you know, I think it was around the year 2000 when it came out with Halo 1. Halo 1 is a lot better because of the long range. I liked how the pistol zoomed in on the Halo 1 and you could snipe with the pistol. I hate, absolutely hate, how the freaking sniper rifle goes 5 and 10x instead of 2 and 10 like Halo 1. It's way better. The thing that really, really upsets me though is the shotgun. <laughs> you totally screwed it up on Halo 2. It's not nearly as good as Halo 1. And so what I had to do was uh, I went out and I had to buy my own version of the shotgun on Halo 1. And uh, I love it, I love it a lot. And uh, if someone pisses me off in Halo 2, which happens a lot, because it sucks, then I can pull this guy out and uh, maintain the peace somewhat. Halo 1's better because the weapons, I prefer the weapons on Halo 1 to the weapons that are on Halo 2. i like to know when we are going to get rid of this GS34 spark, you see? That's not my thing, but it's that's what serotonin comes flowing through the veins. You see, the issue is, we's got to know what does Halo 2 do to the body. To the body. I've had the opportunity to inspect many Halo 2 players, and the problem is that they've got a stool sample unique to those people. It's a real problem. We've got to focus on those issues, and uh, you see, if you get to playing too much, then you get a bipolar junction in the brain. It crosses the median lateral line. There is a junction made, and the Halo 2, you see, you see the Halo 2 makes a junction, and this causes confusion to the brain, because you don't know, your right brain says, no, I'm not gay, but your left them, yeah, I'm gay, and they confuse themselves. You see?
I, for some reason, I'm not winning any games. And, and I think there's a reason behind that. I have like two weapons. I, I could have like five at a time and it probably wouldn't do anything either. I empty three clips into a guy and he still doesn't die. I don't know what that's all about. You know, what's keeping me from winning my games? You know, someone's out there controlling that. Apparently they're tracking every move. I've also, when I try to communicate with my other party members in a game, I've learned Navajo to speak with them, but no one else really knows Navajo, so that doesn't work at all. Bungie also, if you look on their website, you can look at your stats. Why do they keep all those stats? What are those for? There has got to be someone stopping me. It's, it's a conspiracy. I don't know if maybe uh, the government's trying to track me, find out who's best and who's not, but they don't want me to know that I'm best. You know, there's already a starting of conspiracy there. What? Oh, sorry, I thought I heard something. So what do you think about Halo 2? Like in Halo 2, everyone likes that you can carry two guns and stuff like that, but I liked Halo 1 more because you could do the melee attack a lot easier, you know, and with the two guns, it seems like it's kind of awkward, you know. It's kind of like, it's kind of like that one time when, when uh, Steven Seagal, like, you know, like he had that, he had that knife and he's like, Ugh! right in the guy, you know, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, like, there, it was really cool because right before that, he had gotten this guy in this, in this, like, kind of like a sleeper, sleeper hold, kind of like, yeah, like, like this, like, and, and the head goes like right there, and you're like, oh. remember that one Van Damme movie where it was kind of like that, only it wasn't a, it wasn't a headlock, it was a knee to the face, you know? And I was thinking like, what if Steven Seagal's like all trying to get after him and like hold him with like a headlock, and Van Damme could just knee him in the face. So I think that Van Damme could kick Seagal's butt. Anyway, but that's what it was kind of like, uh, there's like a bug on the wall. Stinking bug. Did you see Spider-Man 2? 